Welcome back to Delphi Psychotherapy Billing Software. In this video, we're going to discuss a concept called an advance. Now, uh, let's start with the basics here. We have a brand new client with no sessions, and I'm going to go ahead and record a few sessions for this person. By the way, uh, this person, if we look at their patient information screen under insurance coverage, has a copayment of $20. Uh, that is their responsibility for each session. And as we've told you in some of the previous videos, this number is a tricky number because it's subject to a lot of forces outside of your control. So I'm going to simply click on record a session and I'm going to record a session on the first for individual psych and I will save this session. Now I'm going to record another session on, oops, that was the wrong screen. I'm going to click on record a session again and pick the ninth and this time I'll go ahead and enter a uh, the, the client made a copay at the time of the session. Now, you're only to use this feature if the client is paying for this session and this session only. Since their copay is $20, uh, we will allow you to enter $20 as the copay here. The problem with this is that this is what we believe the copay to be, and as we've said before, this number could potentially be wrong. And what we're doing right now is committing $20 to that session. I'll go ahead and save this session. Now um, I'll record another session for today. And I will uh, make another $20 copay against this. Again, this is only to be used if the client is paying for this session and this session only. But again, we're taking a little bit of a gamble here. Why? If I save this session and I go to the payment screen, here we have our three sessions from the 1st, the 9th, and the 27th with the client copays made against those sessions. The problem at this point is, is if we make an insurance payment and I'm going to say um, uh, insure pay example and it turns out that the insurance company actually paid us let's say $70 and this is going to be insurance pay example 70 with 20 write off. The problem will become that 70 and 20 equals 90, but I'm going to do a $70 payment here. And if I decide to pay off this session on the 9th for $70 and I take a $20 write off, it'll say you're now finished with this payment but what's going to happen is if we look back at the payment screen the copay for this session really should not have been twenty dollars like we originally thought uh... what has occurred here is that we've gotten we've received twenty dollars from the client seventy dollars from the insurance and the insurance told us to write off twenty this has resulted in an overpayment of hundred and ten dollars total credits of hundred and ten against a hundred dollar session and that's just flat out wrong. The reason this occurred is because the client gave us the wrong information or the insurance company gave us the wrong information up front. We end up with a $10 credit and we're trying to really get this to um, be as, as might we say in your face because we're coloring this red. That means that you've got a problem here. So uh, let's get out from under this problem for a second here. I'm going to uh, delete this particular transaction. You can do this from find unposted transactions. And here's our insurance payment. I'm going to delete that transaction. And then I'm also going to delete the copay that was made against the 27th. Basically, we're just kind of trying to back you up here. And I'm going to delete the client pay from the, uh, for the 9th. So if we take a look back at the payment screen here we're back to where we started now in the real world what probably happened is the client paid us 20 and remember when we recorded the session we went ahead and committed that $20 to this session there's a better strategy for dealing with this if you receive a $20 copay from a client let's pretend that was received against the session let's go back to the payment screen that we received the $20 payment on the first against that first session and we're not crystal clear about what the insurance coverage is yet we could make a payment from the payment screen on the first 
from a uh, client, and we'll call it copay. This is making a payment from the payment screen instead of recording it at the time of the session. And the amount of this payment was $20. I will click apply this payment. Now, the question here is, we don't want to take the gamble at this point of applying the money against the session on the first because we haven't yet received an explanation of benefits or we're not crystal clear about where the money goes. So in this case, we click on the button at the bottom that says create an advance. And this creates a new line item in the payment screen called an advance. Uh, this advance will always have the current date. And the reason is, is that it's always at the bottom of this list. It'll be the transaction highlighted. So we have $20 that we don't really want to commit to the session yet. And we would like to uh, hold this money in reserve. So we're going to double click on the advance and we're going to pay the $20 to the advance and apply this payment. Now, let's pretend that the client, well, first let's take a look at the payment screen. The sessions are still fully owing, but this $20 client payment is now held in reserve in the advance. I'm going to do another advance. Let's pretend we got another payment on the 27th for $40, which paid off these two sessions. However, we have not yet received an explanation of benefits from the insurance company. So again, cli copay. Maybe this one is check number 4545. And this time the client paid 40. And I click apply this payment. Again, I don't want to take, I could pay 20 against this session and I could pay 20 against this session, but that could then result in these sessions being overpaid. So instead, until I really know what's going on with the insurance, the best strategy is to pay, double click on the advance and let's pay the $40 to the advance and apply this payment. Now, let's take a look at the financial history screen. Here, we still have a client balance of 20 20 and 20 on the three sessions. And we show the payment that came in on the first of $20 and the payment that came in on the 27th of $40 resulting in a $60 credit on the advance. The beautiful thing about this is that the statements will come out perfectly showing exactly what the client balance is which is really $0 because they've been making what we believe their copay should be but we've just simply not uh, committed it to the sessions yet. Now, the next thing is that at some point we might receive an insurance payment. So let's make a payment from insurance. And we finally have an EOB. I'm just going to call this EOB 8585 Jan January Blue. And the insurance again now pays us $70. I click apply this payment. If I want to I have an explanation benefit of benefits which specifically states that this payment is against the session on January 1st. So I'm going to pay 70 and I'm going to take a $20 write-off which I was instructed to by the explanation of benefits and click apply this payment. I'm now done with the payment but if I go take a look at the payment screen again here we have the full amount the insurance paid and we have a balance of $10. In this case the client had been making $20 copays but they really should have only been making $10 copays. Now, in the next video, we're going to show you how to take the money from the advance, the $60 or any portion of that, and then use it to pay off these sessions. I'm going to do two more quick payments, insurance payments. Um, this is insurance pay number two. This time it was for $140. I'm going to click apply advance, oh, I'm sorry, apply this payment. And this time they paid this session for 70 and they requested a $20 write off. You are not going to receive this money. I will click apply. I will double click on the third session that they paid for, 70 and $20 write off. Apply this payment. I'm finished with my insurance payments. And now let's take a peek at the payment screen. Here, the insurance paid a full 90. The client originally paid 20, but we reserved that 20, those three payments of $20 each in the advance. At this point, we can, and we will show you this in the next video, but we can borrow 30 bucks from the advance to pay off the sessions for what they should have been, which was a $10 copay in each case.
So watch the next video and we'll show you how to use this advance to pay off each of these sessions.